Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, training session on statistical data analysis using SPSS. My name is Vamsidhar. As a part of this uh, session, I would be uh, taking you through the K-means cluster analysis. We have already uh, looked at uh, a couple of uh, cluster analysis uh, models in our uh, earlier uh, sessions. So we would like to uh, just uh, see how the K-means cluster analysis uh, procedure of SPSS will actually uh, give us a mechanism to group the variables or sorry to group the data because uh, as we have uh, discussed earlier the prime intention of any cluster analysis is to assign the cases assign the data elements to a group to a specific group here in k means cluster we are talking about assigning the data to a fixed number of groups so probably i can say three groups or four groups and the prime intention being characteristics the groups characteristics i don't know that's the intention of any cluster analysis the groups characteristics i don't know but they have to be determined based on a set of variables which i identify right i right now don't know the characteristics of the variables but based on the data that uh, i have i want to identify the characteristics and based on that i want to group my values also that is where i take the help of k means cluster analysis so whenever we are talking about a good cluster analysis it should use a very few set of uh, clusters the reason uh, being if i have 20 groups of uh, data and each group having uh, 10 or 20 elements in each probably a better targeting whether it is in terms of uh, understanding the overall profile or even uh, providing a customized service these are some of the prime reasons why someone want to do a cluster analysis so if I have three, four, five clusters, it becomes very easy to understand what differentiates cluster one from cluster two in terms of characteristics. Whereas if I have 20 clusters, uh, literally it becomes very difficult to understand what differentiates one cluster from the other. So it has to capture all the clusters, which is effective. It should be effective means any, uh, even if there are 5 uh, or 10 records which are significantly different from the rest of them the, the system should be able to capture them right so the way it starts off is depending on uh, what I mentioned as n number of clusters that are required so assume that I am talking about 3 clusters that are required what it will take is the SPSS will take K well spaced observations means the observations which have a decent amount of gap it takes K such well spaced observations and forms the initial cluster centers means this is the mean this is the center for the first cluster this is the mean for the second this is the mean for the third cluster now whatever the record one the case one it will see whether it is closer to this cluster center or closer to this or closer to this. Based on that, it assigns the value to the initial cluster center, to this particular cluster. Once this record is assigned to this cluster, even the again the cluster center is recalculated. The cluster center is recalculated and the same way the procedure iterates until all the elements are identified and associated to each of the clusters and in some cases once the cluster mean is updated it may so happen that there is not too much of a difference between these two clusters so all these kinds of uh, uh, manipulations and all these kinds of differentiations have to be brought out in an iterative fashion we'll see in our analysis also 
how each of the iteration is actually improvising the cluster center and the categorization uh, categorization of the cases to the various groups so as far as our data is uh, concerned i would like to look at classifying the records the whole set of uh, the whole set of uh, patient or customer data I have i want to classify them into three fixed number of clusters using the k cluster uh, k means cluster analysis and based on that try to observe what are the key characteristics of each of them all right so to accomplish that the better thing is make sure that i mean though it's not a mandatory thing i generally prefer having all the variables standardized whatever the values you would like to take as a part of the analysis of the cluster it's better that you standardize all of them so what i would like to do is uh, there are some variables which are standardized earlier i would clear all of them and again start up with the activity saying first i will standardize those variables how do i standardize them you could go to any of that descriptive stats procedure which we have used earlier select probably all even if they are no 